Well, the sun has come out. I wouldn't say it's really warm, but at least we're out of the teens now. We're in the 20s. And with the sun being out, it's starting to melt some of the snow and the ice that's on, you know, elevated surfaces. So hopefully this stuff will disappear soon. I'm gonna try to get the backhoe out and clear out some of the driveway. That way it's not so messy when it melts. I'm not sure if the chickens are wanna, will wanna come out today. It doesn't look like it, but maybe they'll venture out this afternoon. I've been putting their feed actually in here. See if they would come out a little bit, but I think these little birds are cleaning up more than anything. Well, maybe that'll maybe that'll hold them over for a little while. We're hoping that by the middle of the week, next week, all the snow is going to be gone. But there will probably be some more right behind it. I'm going to get out here and see if the backhoe will start. Start trying to do a little cleanup. Or it gets real messy. looking for what? The hot hands? <laughs> what are you thinking about it? Is it? You've never seen this much snow, have you? Come on. Snow's fun. And you're not about to throw that at me. You can throw it up if you want.
Okay, well it's not pretty. It definitely doesn't work like a plow. Um, you know, a plow kind of floats on the ground. You just let the weight of it do the work. The bucket's hydraulic, it doesn't float. So it doesn't work all that great, but at least it gets all the high stuff knocked down so we can, April can move her car in and out. We can do what we have to do. So I think that's all the snow shoveling I'm gonna do for now. It's, uh, it's time to get back out in the house, get to work on getting the stair treads done. All right, I finally gotten everything run through this little thickness planer. Now it's time to set up and do the face. What I've done is I've got this, it's just a cheap little Harbor Freight hand power planer. I've got it set up on a slight taper. Uh, that way the bottom of the nosing is tapered in and it'll, it just gives you a little bit more foot room. Not that you really need it, but I just like the way that it looks instead of being square. And then I'll take a hand planer and uh, or hand plane and break the edges. So there's no sharp edges for splinters or whatever. So, let me get this plugged in and go through there. Get, I'm gonna, I guess I'll do these one at a time. So I'll go through here and I'll cut the taper on the front side and then I will measure from the long side, which will be the top, across and cut these off at 11 and a half inches. That will give me a maximum of a inch and a half nosing sticking over. Actually it'd be less than that, minus the three quarter for the riser. So an inch and a quarter. Look at that guys, snow's all gone. Fast forward a couple of days. We took some time off to go do some things and here we are two days later and it's all gone. It's not near as cold as it was. It um, It's actually warmed up about 70 degrees from our lowest temp we had just a week ago. So now I need to get the old tractor started up get out here, get all these beans off this trailer and get them stacked up where they can dry a little bit. These are the, the beans for the newel post and all the railings for the staircase or for the, the balcony going across the living room. So I need to get these off of here. Find me a place. I need to find a place to stack them up. <clears throat> they can dry. I think I'm going to set them right over here since the majority of my wind this time of year is north and south. I'll set them up here and let the air blow through them and that'll kind of help them dry a little bit. I guess I'm going to go ahead and see if the tractor will start. Hopefully it will. 
get these things unloaded. All right, well that's got, it's got all these stacked out here. Um, you see we've got a pretty good pile of them. That is gonna do, that's gonna do all we need to do for all of our handrails, and or at least a, a new post and a post for the handrails. Um, so I will get out here this evening or tomorrow, uh, sometime in the next couple of days. I've got some extra tin, sheets of tin laying around and I'll just throw some tin on the top of this to keep the rain to kind of shed off of it. And this will be good. This can sit here for a few months and they'll definitely lighten up quite a bit. Uh, it won't take long for them to lose a lot of weight with the wind blowing on them and the sun being, you know, not direct sunlight on them. So this little part's done. I have a couple other things to take care of right quick before it gets dark on me. All my chickens did good with the weather. Um, my roosters, both of my roosters got a little bit of frostbite on their combs and one of them on the, their wattle just a little bit, but it's it's not real bad. I'm watching it. Um, it doesn't seem to be affecting them any. Uh, they don't seem sick. It doesn't seem infected. So I'm just going to keep an eye on them and kind of see what they do. If I have to, I'll catch them and doctor them as needed. But I'm ready for springtime. I know it's getting close. We still have a, a couple of months before we have consistent warm weather. Then we're going to start staining and chinking the house. So I've been getting a lot of people asking when we're going to go ahead and chink it and get it closed in. That's springtime. Well, it's right around the corner. We'll get all that wrapped up. <laughs> 